Sunday, September 10th, 2023, Afternoon Edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated video. Good afternoon, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning into the Future of News AGNDD and Tele Report. As always, I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in summarizing the news. Without further ado, here are the headlines of the day. COVID patients exhale a high amount of virus copies. ARPG designed by Redditors rivals Diablo 4 and Path of Exile. COVID-19 flu and RSV vaccines available this fall. Philadelphia Eagles named America's team. Patriots deem boring. Audit finds NASA's SLS mega rocket too expensive for exploration. Marilyn Monroe's LA home saved from demolition. And more. But first, Let's take a look at this day in history. September 10th in history. September 10th, 1509. An earthquake known as the Lesser Judgment Day hits Constantinople. September 10th, 1515. Thomas Woolsey is invested as a cardinal. Today's obituaries. Evgeny Brazhnik is a 78-year-old Russian conductor who has performed in various countries and received awards for his work. He has conducted over 50 operas and is known for his performance of David Lloyd Jones's version of Boris Godunov in Yekaterinburg. He currently works for the Helicon Opera. Hernan Carrasco is a 100-year-old Chilean football manager with a successful career. He has won several championships with different teams such as Alianza FC and Colo Colo. In addition, he coached the El Salvador national team during the 1970 FIFA World Cup. Carrasco recently celebrated his 100th birthday in March 2023. Vasil Karlenko, 72, Ukrainian biathlon competitor and coach. Hamidou Lanigri. Brief Wikipedia Summary Hamidou Lanigri, an 84-year-old Moroccan intelligence officer, has passed away. Lanigri served as the director of the DGSN, General Directorate of National Security, from 2003 to 2006. Famous people born on this day. Miguel Serrano. Here is a recap of their Wikipedia page. Miguel Serrano, a Chilean poet and diplomat, was born on September 10, 1917, and passed away in 2009. He was known for his far-right politics, Nazi sympathies, and promotion of esoteric Hitlerism. Serrano firmly believed that Hitler was a spiritual leader who had covertly survived and was residing in Antarctica. He served as a diplomat in India, Yugoslavia, and Austria until his dismissal in 1970. Later on, Serrano became a prominent figure in the Chilean neo-Nazi movement. Carl Wynn, here's a recap of their Wikipedia page. Carl Wynn was a German mountaineer who made several significant ascents in the Alps and in other parts of the world, including Africa and the Himalayas. He led a German expedition to Nanga Parbat in 1937, but tragically, he and 15 other climbers were killed in an avalanche. And now on to today's news. A general news. G20 stops short of condemning Russia's invasion of Ukraine in joint declaration. CNN. At the annual G20 summit, leaders agreed on a joint statement regarding climate change and economic development, but avoided explicitly condemning Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The summit, hosted by Indian PM Narendra Modi, saw U.S. President Joe Biden pushing for support for Ukraine and promoting American investment in the developing world. Despite disagreements, a joint declaration was achieved, earning praise from the U.S. The absence of Chinese and Russian leaders allowed Biden to make a stronger case for the U.S. as a counterbalance to China's economic outreach. Ukraine Musk defends Starlink decision on Crimea strike, DW English. Elon Musk rejected a request to activate Starlink satellite network in Sevastopol, Crimea, fearing it would aid a Ukrainian drone attack on Russia's fleet and escalate the war. Musk's decision has drawn criticism, 
with accusations that his refusal indirectly allowed the Russian fleet to attack Ukrainian cities. Top stories, Apple event expectations for iPhone 15, Apple Watch, and more, McRumors. Apple is set to announce the iPhone 15 series, new Apple Watch Series 9 and Ultra 2 models at an event on September 12th. The iPhone 15 lineup is expected to have a USB-C port, dynamic island, and additional features for the Pro models. Other expected features include a new heart rate monitor and more accurate sensors for the Apple Watch, and potentially a $100 price increase for the iPhone 15 Pro models. COVID-19, flu, and RSV vaccines are all available this fall. See what some doctors recommend and why. Fox News. As flu season approaches, there are concerns of a triple-demic with rising cases of COVID-19, flu, and RSV. Experts recommend vaccinations against these viruses, particularly for those with underlying health conditions. A reformulated COVID-19 vaccine with additional protection is expected in October. The CDC states it is acceptable for adults to receive all three vaccines concurrently. Business news. Home prices may have bottomed out. Report KTVU Fox to San Francisco. Gas prices go way up overnight and they might just keep going up again. WSAW. Gas prices in Wausau, Wisconsin have risen overnight by 40 cents to a dollar, a hike predicted by Gas Buddy on September 7th. The increase is attributed to higher oil prices and gas refinery outages during the hurricane season. The AAA Director of Public Affairs predicts that prices may fluctuate but will likely not change significantly in the next few months. Infrequent inspection of fan blades led to a United jet engine breaking up in 2021, report says WFLA. A United Airlines jet engine broke over Denver in 2021 due to inadequate inspection of a fan blade that had wear and tear, according to federal investigators. Manufacturer Pratt & Whitney did not require frequent enough inspections, allowing undetected cracks to grow. The engine's design also exacerbated the situation. No injuries were reported. Technology news. NASA's mighty SLS mega rocket for Artemis moonshots unaffordable for sustained exploration, audit finds. Space.com. A U.S. Government Accountability Office audit has criticized NASA for a lack of transparency regarding the costs and schedules of its space launch system, SLS Moon Rocket. The SLS, part of the Artemis program to establish a permanent moon presence, is deemed unaffordable at current cost levels. NASA has spent $11.8 billion on SLS development since 2011 and has a further $11.2 billion allocated until 2028. Meet Diablo 4 and Path of Exile's biggest rival, an ARPG designed and built by Redditors, PC Games. 11th Hour Games Action RPG, Last Epic, was developed through Reddit, with its classes and features regularly put to a community vote. The game, which boasts more character classes and unique items than Diablo 4, began as an after-hours project by a small team of developers. The goal, according to 11th Hour CEO Judd Cobbler, was to create a game that combined the best elements of major ARPGs. What to expect from the Apple Watch at next week's Wonderlust event? Gizmodo. Apple is set to reveal new products, including the iPhone 15 and Apple Watch Series 9, at the Wonderlust event. The Apple Watch Ultra 2, with a larger screen size and lighter weight, will also be introduced. Key improvements across the watches could include sensor enhancements and possible 5G connectivity. Sports News. The Philadelphia Eagles are America's team. The New England Patriots are boring. The Philadelphia Inquirer. The Philadelphia Eagles are set to face the New England Patriots, which is considered a mediocre team over the past three years. The Patriots, once a dominant team with high-profile players, are now seen as lacking star power. Meanwhile, the Eagles are viewed as a rising team. Health news. Age and sexuality, surprising shifts in partners as we grow older. Neuroscience news. A study by the University of East Anglia reveals changing sexual behavior with age. 
Surveying over 5,000 participants, it showed that gay and bisexual men over 70 continue to have multiple partners, while heterosexual women's activity decreases after age 50. The findings challenge existing assumptions in mathematical models of sexually transmitted infections. New COVID variant symptoms 2023. What to know about EG, 5 and BA, 2.86, men's health. New COVID-19 variants EG.5 and BA.2.86 are circulating, causing similar symptoms to the Omicron variant but may be more transmissible. Health officials advise staying aware of symptoms, getting vaccinated, and continuing to receive boosters for protection. COVID patients exhale up to 1,000 copies of the virus per minute during the first eight days of symptoms. Northwestern now. A Northwestern Medicine study found that COVID-19 patients exhale high volumes of virus during the initial eight days of symptom onset, peaking at 1,000 copies per minute. This is independent of the virus variant or vaccination status. Levels drop significantly after day eight. Entertainment news. Fans disappointed as Guns N' Roses abruptly postponed St. Louis show, KTVI Fox 2 St. Louis. Guns N' Roses postponed their show at Bush Stadium set for Saturday due to an undisclosed illness. The band urged fans to hold on to their tickets, promising refunds for those unable to attend the rescheduled date. The sudden cancellation disappointed many fans, some of whom had traveled from out of state. Marilyn Monroe's L.A. home saved from demolition for now. KTLA 5. Bobby Lashley and Street Profits vow to take over SmackDown highlights September 8th, 2023, WWE. Now a couple of dad jokes for you. As I get older, I think of all the people I lost along the way. Maybe a career as a tour guide wasn't such a good idea. What is a centipede's favorite Beatles song? I want to hold your hand, 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 hand. I've started telling everyone about the benefits of eating dried grapes. It's all about raisin awareness. Thank you for watching this AGNDD and Tele Report. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.